If you came up to me and said, Simon, what driver should I be getting brand new for 2022? Sadly for you, my answer still hasn't changed. And here's five reasons exactly why. The reason I'm making this video is I want you to be one of these people that isn't afraid to buy a £200 driver and get exactly the same as everyone else that's paying £450. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon down here at Lower Hennick Line Road. We're going to do a bit of Saturday morning practice. Um, uh, I haven't been in this situation for quite a long time, so it's about time I got my arse in gear. We obviously want to compete in long drive. Um, I also want to be able to practice some kind of golf so I can not embarrass myself when I do venture out into the wilderness. The manufacturer that I will be recommending for 2022. And I want to make it very clear. Um, if anyone came, Simon, I want a brand new driver. I want to go and get club fitted. I want warranty. I want a decent price. I do want decent performance. This driver does all of that but because it's not brand brand new i.e it hasn't been re-released with another x or a z or a flash or some kind of fire symbol off the back of it not many people are going to think about it or want it but here's five reasons exactly why if you're looking for a brand new driver let's say you've been playing for a year two years you've had second hand you've done a bit of thrifting here x y and z and you want to go and get club fitted which is the main reason why you get a brand new driver the 0211 i just can't see bnb until another main manufacturer brings out another 200 pound head that they will club fit that with the same performance the same level r and d x y and z then we can have a battle then i can go actually maybe not the 0211 maybe the callaway whatever because 200 pounds for a brand new driver that can be club fitted with is just exceptional value for money so reason number one which is the most important reason club fit you can go and get club fitted for the 0211 now even at a 205 pound price and i think it's about 220 dollars over in the us i could still see you guys maybe some of you guys that have been playing for longer go actually I only need a nine degree head I need ten and a half degree head and I'll put this shaft in it that'll probably work and I can still get behind that because of the amount you can sell it for second hand which we'll get into in a minute however club fit is important club fit is an experience and I highly recommend everyone going and getting a club fit once in their golfing journey even if it's not to buy anything because you do learn a lot about your swing and your game and the fact you can go and get a 200 pound driver which no other manufacturer does don't get me wrong TaylorMade had their RBZ stage 2 or whatever which was like 100 180 pounds and Callaway bring out this I don't know Big Bertha 200 pound whatever with just one shaft option and one loft option but you can't get club fitted for it and you can't get different lofts and you can't get different head designs and PXG club fits are some of the best are going to be one of the best in the world therefore no 211 205 pounds and club fitted and tested against your own driver I mean, for that reason alone is just enough Number two, we're going to talk about this thing called warranty. We very rarely touch this topic on this channel because we're always in the second hand market and as soon as you buy it from someone else, your warranty is then invalid. You don't know how many people have hit it, you don't know where it's come from and you're not going to get a refund on eBay um, a month, two months later if that face caves in or your shaft snaps, whatever it might be. But with a brand new club, you do get this thing called warranty and I have to say, and you guys have to let me know in the comment section below because I know a lot of us now have had PXGs, whether you got the £250 one with me or the £205 O211, which I recommended in the summer, the customer service is extremely good. I know guys in the paying group that have had very good dealings with PXG as well, they do not skim. If something goes wrong or something breaks, they're not scared to obviously send something out free of charge. So again, warranty is a big thing because at least for £205, you know that you're going to get a year or two years worth a golf club that if anything was to happen or go wrong on it you're going to be covered number three goes without saying and obviously we have to talk about this thing called price 205 pounds now i said this in the summer i can't see the driver going anywhere below 150 pounds and as you can see in ebay recently sold that is exactly the case you can see going for 150 160 170 pounds meaning that you can go and play with this driver you can go and get fitted for some very good shaft options by the way you're not just getting any old shafts that are just left in the back of a cupboard you're getting a lot of shafts now that actually you could probably sell on and then the head alone if you were to change you can go and get fitted for this driver, play with it for a year or maybe even six months. You don't like it, you're not getting on with it, you probably should go and have a lesson, but therefore you want to get rid of it. You can then sell it for £160, £150, £165, meaning that you've been able to get club fitted, tried the club, gone away with it, used it, tested it and only lost £40 on the other side. If you were to do that with any other brand, £440, £400, didn't like it, went to sell it on. The Epic Speed currently is going for £220. 
meaning someone could have got fitted for that this year, 450 pounds, didn't like it as it has lost 210 pounds in the space of a year on their equipment, which I do believe is absurd. Now let's be honest, number four we probably don't need to talk about as if you've been watching this channel for a while you'll probably know this quite well anyway but number four is performance and obviously when it comes to performance nothing's changed and I'm telling you now nothing has changed. Okay if we go back 20 years ago there is difference and I think the club fit aspect trying to get clubs that are fitted everywhere has a monitor that everywhere can measure club backspin everywhere can measure club speed ball speed whatever so the club fit aspect has got a lot better therefore they're going to find the driver that's better for you but in terms of that ball speed ball speed to club face it just isn't there the forgiveness though 211 is a highly forgiving driver and any mechanical flaws in your golf swing will outswamp any technological advancements that we've seen, let's say in five years. Let's say the ball speeds increase a mile an hour every year. Five miles an hour will be lost if you hit out the tank or if you hit out the hill. If it's a cold, frosty morning and you haven't bothered doing any kind of warming up. So in terms of performance, trust me, the 0211 at 205 pounds will and is up there with the best. And at number five is perception, and this is the most fascinating one. It's got nothing to do with the club, but all about marketing and price, because I guarantee you, five years ago, if I mentioned the name PXG, you thought exclusive, you thought premium, you thought big brand. And to be perfectly honest, I made quite a few videos um, uh, slagging them off, saying it is pointless, which it was, a 800 pound driver, two and a half round iron set, which is just ludicrous for the amateur golfer and just isn't needed. And there is this kind of perception, the more money you throw at this game, the better you get, which just isn't the case. But that's changed and now interestingly pxg clubs are going pretty much next to nothing you've got a lot of manufacturers that have bought a lot of pxg stuff over the last year year and a half and it's cheaper to get it from the manufacturer themselves rather than from the store which is quite interesting perception now has changed actually people aren't getting pxg clubs because they think it's a budget brand which just isn't the case people are happy to pay 800 pounds for a driver but now don't want to pay 200 pounds and the reason i'm making this video is i want you to be one of these people that isn't afraid to buy a 200 pound driver and get exactly the same as everyone else that's paying 450. So guys, there you have it, my 2022 brand new driver recommendation. And unless another manufacturer, which I'd like to see, TaylorMade Callaway, bring out a 205 pound, 250 pound driver head option that you could get fitted for and gives you all the same aspects, shafts, grips, whatever you like as the premium heads, then sadly, I don't think my um, recommendation is ever gonna change. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys later.